so ladies and gentlemen we have an update today and it's ios 14 beta 7 i'm on the developer beta so i have the developer beta profile and this is ios 14 developer beta 4 if you are public beta just give yourself a few hours or on the next day around 10 a.m pst you will be able to see this update now let's quickly see what's changed here if we go into the settings and go to general and go to about you can see the new software version that we have here that it has a b at the end now this is more stable and it goes to indicate that perhaps we have one more beta or even two more betas before we see the gm version and then shortly after that we'll see the public release now if you go to see the modem firmware version you can see that it hasn't changed from what we had on beta 6 we still have 8.02.01 now do keep in mind that this modem firmware is going to depend on what device you use the software version is going to be the same however the modem firmware will change depending on the device you use and this is the modem firmware that you will definitely see if you have the iphone 6s now now, this is one of the lowest supported devices when it comes to iOS 14. So let's see how much this update is actually taken up. If we go to iPhone storage, we want to see, you know, how much system is taken up. And as you can see there, it's taken up 6.95 gig. Now that is normal. It's slightly increased compared to what I had on beta 6 but it's not a big issue. Now, let's see some of the new features and changes that came with this update. The first one, and perhaps one of the major ones that we want to talk about, has to do with new wallpapers. So if you go into settings and then go to the wallpaper section here, you can see that, you know, if we choose wallpaper and then go to still wallpaper, we now have, you know, more wallpapers that alternate between day and night or between light and day so we have all these rainbow wallpapers and you know let's just set one for example here and then let's set it for both so you see that we set our wallpaper here and this is how it basically looks during light mode or daytime and if we're to set nighttime or dark mode this is how it would look so basically you can see that it alternates and that's one of the major change that came with this update now this actually isn't the new wallpaper ui that people have been talking about i don't know if that's something that we're going to see in beta 8 or perhaps that is going to be reserved with ios 14 the gm version when it comes out now another change that came with this update has to do with the app library now you can see that in the app library here we now have more subsections you can see that you know we have games which have been put you know in games folder by uh, themselves and before i think they were mixed with some other entertainment and then you know we also have entertainment we have utilities so there's now more sections here and another change that came with this update has to do with the music app now if we open the music app right here which i actually don't use at the moment you now have like a sort of inverted menu when you open the music app since i don't use it i won't be able to show you but it's been improved in terms of stability and also some features have been touched up another change that came with this update has to do with exposure logging or exposure notification if you go into settings here and then you know go back to where it says exposure notification you can see that for me it's active right so the reason why it's active is because we have this application that we are using in canada and it's called covid alert so i have that application and because i have that app this is the app by by the way so if i open the app you know this is what's allowing me to be able to turn on covid alert or exposure notification and you can see that i can get monthly updates so it will be able to tell me that you know on a monthly basis that it's collecting information and it will let me know if i come into contact and it's active now something also that came with this update has to do with the news app so if you open the news app which is um, this one right here you notice that you know sometimes when it opens up some page loads up and the page sometimes shows a new animation when it opens up so 
this is what i'm seeing when you open it up for the first time and you know for some users they are reporting that you know they see this new change and for others they basically don't see anything at all after updating so that is a change that came with this update and also some of these articles i believe they added one or two articles according to nine to five max so that is a new change that came with this update now basically that more or less the new features and changes i will tell you that from now on since we are on beta 7 and you saw that the build number has a b at the end that means that you know we shouldn't really expect any new or drastic change when it comes to ios 14 betas right you can see that you know we were expecting a new wallet widget but you know that didn't actually show up with this update you can see that the weather widget is the w widget that we have right there so basically don't expect any new drastic changes and features that you know will come with the next beta which is beta 8 and apple at this point in time is making final touches when it comes to these ios 14 betas now when it comes to bugs and issues that are still present with this update there's about 22 bugs that were mentioned when it comes to ios 14 beta 7 and those are just minor bugs nothing major and basically for me when it comes to battery performance if we go to the battery here and go to uh, battery health you can see that my maximum health or my maximum capacity has remained at 80 percent before that it was 80 on 80 percent and if you see the screen on time that i had here in the last 10 days basically i updated to this uh beta like two hours ago so i'll have more information for you in about two to three days when it comes out and basically when it comes to performance i did run geekbench scores here and let's just see the history that we have here because when it comes to cpu i did run it so you can see the score that we had here on ios 14 beta 7 single core we had 553 and multi core we had 10 36 and this is the score that we had on beta 6 so you can see that it's almost identical it's like when it comes to cpu performance beta 6 and beta 7 are like twins so no change there when it comes to cpu performance when it comes to gpu performance you can see that on beta 7 i got 2156 however on beta 6 i had 2165 so it's slightly reduced when it comes to cpu performance but nothing major now should you update to ios 14 beta 7 i think already if you're on the beta stages and you have beta 6 installed then you know this will do you no harm i am feeling that you know this update is actually a bit smooth you know i used to have dead touches on beta 5 and beta 6 as you can see all my touches are responsive you can see that my stacked up widgets are working as they are supposed to my weather widget is portraying my correct location and also you know all the stacked widgets i'm show showing you here are working as they're supposed to so i really feel like this is the beta for you if you're waiting for the correct or the more stable beta to update to and also it's almost you know the final version you can see the build number that we have that it's a stable one right so this i really think that you know if you want to update this is the beta for you now when it comes to the next beta of ios 14 which is beta 8 since we are on a weekly cycle for these betas we can sort of expect it between the 8th to the 10th of september next week which is very soon so basically that's about it for me guys i really feel that this update is amazing but you don't even know this is a beta and that can change i know on macOS i've been having some crazy times right there and that's about it for me guys if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video